The Hess Emerald Tiara. In 1893, Princess Margaret of Prussia received a glittering tiara as a gift from her mother, Princess Victoria of the United Kingdom, the eldest daughter of Queen Victoria, when she married Prince Frederick Charles of Hesse. In the late 1930s, Princess Margaret loaned her emerald perure to her daughter-in-law, Sophie of Greece and Denmark, the wife and later widow of her sixth son and the sister of the Duke of Edinburgh, who wore it for a portrait. After the Second World War, the Hess family jewels were buried and stolen. The theft wasn't discovered until Princess Sophie was preparing to remarry in 1946. And while the culprits were found, only 10% of the jewels were returned in 1951. And the fate of the emeralds still remains a mystery. The Bolin Ruby Tiara Made by the celebrated Russian jeweller Bolin in 1874, the ruby tiara was of foliate scroll design set with cushion-shaped diamonds decorated with six flower head cluster motifs, each set with cubichon rubies in cushion-shaped diamond borders. The tiara was accompanied by a large perure which included a necklace, earrings, three brooches, a ring and a stomacher, which later went missing. The Hess Ears of Wheat Tiara It was a wedding gift to an Italian princess who died in a Nazi concentration camp. It was among the jewels recovered in the famous Hess jewellery heist, while many others were lost. The Hess Ears of Wheat Tiara has been worn by the female members of the former German Hess royal family at weddings and glittering events in the present day. This diamond tiara, composed of 10 ears of wheat of varying lengths, arranged in a wreath style, was probably made in the early 19th century. The Hohenzollern Clover Coronet it features four diamond clovers connected by diamond swags over a diamond base. It is a coronet because it forms a complete circle, unlike a traditional tiara which only covers a section of the head. The coronet was made around 1890. It has many similarities to the clover coronet made for Empress Augusta Victoria of Prussia in 1906. Despite coming from the same dynastic house, the pieces of Hohenzollern have much closer relations with the kings of Romania. The Vladimir Fringe Tiara This tiara was a wedding gift to Duchess Marie of mecklenburg schwerin when she married Grand Duke Vladimir Alexandrovich of Russia in 1874. Diamond fringe tiaras mimic the shape of the traditional Russian Kokoshnik headdress and were found in the jewellery box of most Romanov ladies. The Grand Duchess Vladimir wore the tiara in a more conventional manner, as well as an inventive sunburst. The Wuttenberg's Pink Topaz Tiara a series of large oval pink topaz stones that are surrounded by diamonds and mounted on top of a diamond base studded with additional pink topaz stones. It is mounted in gold and silver. The Hanoverian Floral Tiara Composed of an antique floral motif, this tiara is an heirloom of the Hanover family, probably coming from diamond floral elements belonging to Princess Marie of Hanover, born 1849 and died 1904. Grand Duchess Hilda's Tiara Made in the early 20th century by German jeweller Schmidt Stubb, this tiara is a classical design featuring a diamond ribbon between swags of laurel wreaths with a triple tier base and the solid top line of a kokoshnik shape. 
The platinum and gold diadem includes 367 brilliant diamonds. The back of the setting is left open to allow the maximum amount of light to filter through the diamonds. There are also diamond pendants in the design, another feature that will pick up extra light. Light makes diamonds come alive, so the tiara must have been far more spectacular in person than it ever could be in a photograph. Benedicta of Cyan Wittgenstein Belberg's Floral Tiara this tiara was created using a brooch that belonged to Queen Alexandrine of Denmark and can still be worn as three brooches. The diamond of the central flower is interchangeable with an emerald or pearl. The sign Wittgenstein Berlberg Diamond Spike Tiara it first appeared in 2010, worn by Karina Axelsson during Queen Marguerite of Denmark's birthday celebrations. Karina is an author and the longtime partner of Prince Gustav, who is the son of Princess Benedicta of Denmark and Prince Richard. Gustav is the heir to the title and all that comes with it, a castle in Germany, a fortune, but there is a clause in his grandfather's will that says that if you want to inherit, you need to marry someone who is Protestant, noble and Aryan. Yes, you can imagine which part of German history I am talking about here. Karina does not meet the requirements and Gustav and his father have had no luck challenging the will in court, but she is a part of the family. The Prussian Clover Coronet The original Prussian Clover Coronet featured four large diamond clovers with a base of diamond swags and smaller clovers and shares design features with the Clover Coronet belonging to other branches of the Hohenzollern family which may have inspired this Clover Coronet's design. The Ottingen Spielberg Tiara It has been worn by the Princess of Ottingen Ottingen and Ottingen Spielberg, mother of Princess Nora, at a couple of royal events, including a glittering gala in 1996, the wedding of Prince Manuel and Anna of Bavaria, and the wedding of Duchess Elizabeth in Bavaria. In 2014, the Ottingen Spielberg tiara was worn by Princess Theresa, sister of Princess Nora, when she wed Karl Christian. Otka of the German Baking Dynasty. However, the most famous appearance of this tiara was a couple of years ago when Baroness Cleopatra wore the sparkler to marry hereditary Prince Franz, brother of Princess Nora. The Bavarian Lover's Knot Tiara Commissioned from the Bavarian court jeweller by King Ludwig I of Bavaria for his wife, Queen Theresa, the tiara features 16 pearls in diamond arches hanging from lover's knot bows, mirrored by 16 pear-shaped pearls on top, which are accompanied by pearl chandelier earrings and a large pearl necklace. The Douglas Floral Tiara Heirloom worn by Princess Elizabeth Duchess in Bavaria, née Countess Elizabeth Douglas, at her wedding and by all of her daughters including Duchess Sophie at her 1993 wedding as well as her sister Rosita Duchess of Marlborough. The Emerald Laurel Wreath Tiara Made of a diamond laurel wreath and Kubishon emerald design, this tiara was made in 1905 as a silver anniversary present from Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany to his consort, 
Empress Augusta, the tiara was passed to their only daughter, Princess Victoria Louise, when she married Ernst Augustus, Duke of Brunswick, of the House of Hanover, in 1913. The Greek Ruby Perot the flexible Greek ruby perure includes a tiara in an olive wreath motif with berry coloured rubies and diamond leaves. It belonged to Queen Olga of Greece, who likely received at least part of the perure from her husband, King George I. Princess Mirko of Akashino's diamond tiara. Made by the Japanese jeweler Weiko, this tiara and peru was given to the princess, the eldest daughter of Prince Akashino and Princess Keiko, on the occasion of her 20th birthday in 2011. Queen Sophie's Diamond Tiara this tiara features large diamonds set in a scroll and floral design. This was Crown Princess Sophie's signature tiara, given to the German princess when she married the Crown Prince of Greece. This impressive diamond tiara was worn by her daughter, Queen Helen of Romania, her niece and daughter-in-law, Queen Frederica of Greece, Queen Ingrid of Denmark, and was last seen on the current Crown Princess of Greece after remaining hidden for decades. The Boucheron Diamond Tiara Made in 1907 by Bassett for Princess Maria Pavlovna, this glittering diamond tiara features diamond swags cultivating into large diamonds over a diamond base. An additional diamond was added later. Princess Irene's Diamond Tiara Given as a wedding present from Queen Victoria to her eldest daughter, who eventually became Empress of Germany, this glittering tiara was later given to her third daughter, who became Queen of Greece. She left it to her second daughter and was sold after her death. It has also been loaned to Queen Anne of Romania. Queen Sophie's Diamond Circle Tiara This petite diamond circle tiara was first worn by Queen Sophie of Greece, the sister of Kaiser Wilhelm II. She wore it for a portrait in the 1910s, with the diamond hanging from the centre circle. After her death, it was inherited by her son, the future King Paul. Princess Marie of Greece's Olive Leaf Tiara A classic tiara design category, Cartier's production of floral and foliage design tiaras really kicked off in about 1900. This tiara was made for Marie Bonaparte in 1907 for her wedding to Prince George of Greece and Denmark. The Greek Diamond Floral Tiara The first known appearance of this tiara came at the wedding of Marina Corella, who wore the piece for the ceremony at the Royal Palace of Athens. Queen Frederica of Greece's Pearl Necklace Tiara Queen Frederica of Greece, born 1917, and died 1981, had a necklace of pearls and diamonds featuring a large pointed centre motif flanked by repeating motifs of a pearl surrounded by a fine diamond line. Not a lot is known about the piece, but the Queen was pictured wearing it fairly early on in her reign and continued to use it until late in her life. She used it as a necklace in its plain form, but also swapped out the centre motif for a large sapphire pendant from her collection. The Yugoslavian Diamond Kokoshnik Tiara 
This glittering diamond kokoshnik was worn by a series of women that spent their lives in exile. Princess Nicholas of Greece spent part of her life exiled from Russia and Greece. Her daughter, Princess Paul of Yugoslavia, was exiled with her husband after the Allies took over Yugoslavia during World War II. Her daughter-in-law, Princess Maria, was exiled from her native Italy at an early age. The diamond set motif is filled with filigree motifs and diamond clusters as well as detachable diamond clusters. This tiara was favoured by Princess Paul of Yugoslavia. Queen Margareta's Diamond Wreath Tiara The King's son and heir Umberto was to marry Margareta of Savoy in 1868, so the king brought the Malerio diadem as a gift for the bride. Wreath designs and tiaras are nods to the wreath head ornaments of ancient Rome and ancient Greece, making this tiara the perfect gift for a future Italian queen consort. The queen as she became when Umberto succeeded to the throne in 1878, wore the tiara throughout her life. She often paired it with multiple strands of pearls, which was her signature style. The Savoy Knot and Star Tiara This tiara is a sparkler that has graced the heads of the female members of the Italian royal family. Made in 1895, the tiara features a base of Savoy knots topped with alternating diamond sprays and stars. The piece is very flexible and can be worn with just the diadem stars. Another configuration features the Savoy knot base topped with Cubichon emeralds. The Duchess of Castro's Ruby Dragonfly Tiara Made of diamonds studded with rubies, the design features plants and dragonflies. The dragonflies can be detached and used as brooches. They can also be reattached to the tiara at different angles. The tiara is likely made in France and dates from around 1900. That puts it right at the heart of the Art Nouveau movement. The Savoy Pink Tourmaline Tiara When Princess Elizabeth of Saxony married Prince Ferdinand in 1850, she received a grand gift from her new mother-in-law, Queen Maria Theresa of Sardinia. The gift was a full parure of jewellery. The set was originally designed in diamonds and garnets. The garnets were able to be switched for pink tourmalines. Empress Farah of Iran's Turquoise Tiara It's only fitting that a grey turquoise tiara would be worn by the Empress of Iran. The mining of turquoise is part of Iran's history and Persian turquoise is famed for its quality. The base contains a central round turquoise stone with oval turquoise to the sides and a top nine upright turquoise stones in a graduating height arrangement. A pair of pendant earrings were worn with the tiara and there was also a turquoise necklace to pair with it. It was made for the Empress in around the 1970s. It was worn for many official portraits in the later years and some daytime events and now it probably belongs to the state. The Noor Al Ain Tiara it is all about its centerpiece, the Norolean diamond. It can be translated as Eye of Light. It is one of the largest pink diamonds in the world, around 60 carats in an oval shape, thought to have been mined at the Golconda mines in India. Empress Farah's Diamond Tiara.
A large diamond cuckoo snake. Empress Farah wore this piece at a couple of events in the 1960s before it disappeared from public view. It might have been reset for the 1967 coronation, but might also belong to the National Bank of Tehran. Farah's Seven Emerald Tiara this unique emerald tiara was made by Harry Winston in 1958 in advance of the marriage of the Shah of Iran and Farah Deba. It includes a mix of diamond colours and incorporates old stones from the Iranian crown collection. The heart-shaped pointed base is made of a row of platinum set baguette white diamonds which sit underneath the double row of pink, yellow and white diamonds. The brilliance are thought to be from the 19th century and Indian in origin. The largest two are 15 carats apiece. The top is set with seven large oval round Kubishon emeralds, which are likely from South Africa, cut before 1738, when the Shah invaded India. The emeralds range in size from 10 carats each for the two smallest, to a whopping 65 carats for the largest central stone, and they are framed in diamonds thought to be from South Africa. The Iranian Emerald and Diamond Tiara This emerald and diamond art deco tiara was made for Empress Farah's predecessor, Queen Soraya, and worn at her wedding in 1951 and many of her grand occasions. After her divorce in 1958, this tiara remained in the vaults and was worn by Empress Farah as a smaller emerald alternative. It hasn't been seen since the 1960s and presumably belongs to the National Bank of Tehran. Princess Chichibu's Diamond Honeysuckle Tiara this tiara features diamond honeysuckle separated by diamond loops filled by lines of diamonds. Prince and Princess Chichibu represented Japan at the 1937 coronation of King George VI and this tiara was worn for the occasion. It was inherited by Emperor Akihito in 1995 and was a favourite of Empress Michiko in the 2000s. Japan's Pearl Sunburst Tiara the Japanese Pearl Sunburst Tiara is a variant of the classic fringe tiara design with exceptionally thin and even diamond rays lining up to make a smooth top line. This version adds a handful of pearls at intervals along the top which lends a little softness to an otherwise hard shape. Princess Fatima's Sunburst Emerald Tiara This magnificent tiara is one of the mysterious pieces in the Persian jewellery collection with little to no information about its history or provenance. The most striking feature of this tiara is the motif of the sunburst, hence its name. The eye-catching middle is a beautiful 25 carat cushion-shaped pink spinal surrounded by a row of diamonds and each diamond in this row serves as a base for the rays depicting the sunburst. There are four pairs of emeralds on either side with the ninth 20 carat emerald in the middle. On either end, two identical floral motifs are located with a single large diamond in the centre of each. Princess Takamado's Pearl and Diamond Tiara Princess Takamado, widow of Emperor Akito's cousin, usually represents the family at foreign royal events and thus has a wide range of tiaras at her disposal. This pearl and diamond piece 
was worn at her wedding in 1984. It was also worn at the wedding of Princess Madeleine of Sweden in 2013. Princess Keiko's Tiara Made by Mikimoto, this tiara and perot was given to the princess, the younger daughter of Prince Akishino and Princess Keiko, on the occasion of her 20th birthday in 2014, worn to the Belgian State Banquet New Year's Court and Spanish State Banquet. This tiara and perot will return to the imperial family when the princess marries. Princess Nori's Diamond Tiara This graceful tiara by Mikimoto dates from around 1923 to 1924 and features layered diamond scrolls of graduated heights topped with single round diamonds. The largest single stone is a three carat diamond positioned in the middle of the tiara. It can be removed for use in a ring or brooch. The tiara was worn by Princess Nori, the youngest child and only daughter of Emperor Akito and Empress Michiko. Princess Rim of Jordan's Diamond Tiara Princess Rim Ali's sister-in-law of Queen Rainier owns this golden diamond piece which is influenced by Middle Eastern design. Queen Noor's Diamond Sunburst Tiara Composed of diamond sunbursts this tiara was a gift from King Hussein of Jordan to his fourth wife, who modified the original piece. It was worn for almost all of the Queen's tiara appearances, but hasn't been seen since King Hussein's death in 1999. The Boucheron Bracelet Tiara this simple tiara composed of three drop diamonds dangling from a swirl that joins two rows of diamonds was created by Boucheron for Queen Rainier in 2010. Some famous appearances include the 10th anniversary of King Abdullah's succession in 2009, the wedding of Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden in 2010 and the Jordanian state visit to Belgium. The Boucheron Emerald Ivy Tiara This fascinating piece is again from Boucheron, made in 2003. The tiara is in the shape of a wreath of ivy, made entirely from emeralds set in black gold. The design is based on a necklace from the Boucheron archives that dates from around 1890. It is the materials here that make this something completely new. It's rare to see a tiara that is all coloured gemstones without diamonds or pearls or indeed anything else to break it up. It is also rare to see the use of black gold which gives the tiara a rather deep, mysterious feel. The Arabic script tiara Created by FRED in 2005, this modern tiara featuring an Arabic script motif was worn by Queen Rainier at the state banquet during the Jordanian state visit to the Netherlands. It is unknown if this tiara was alone or if it actually belongs to Queen Rainier. The Thern Untaxis Emerald Tiara it takes a diamond framework reminiscent of the Cartier Pearl Drop Tiara in Monaco and pairs it with Cubichon Emerald Drops a la the Grand Duchess Vladimir Tiara for a combination with maximum impact. The piece was seen among a selection of jewels exhibited by the British jeweller Hancock in Paris in 1866. The Imperial Chrysanthemum Tiara Reserved solely for the Empress, the Imperial Chrysanthemum Tiara 
features a symbol of the Japanese monarchy and was created using diamond chrysanthemum brooches. It has been worn by Empress Michiko for many foreign visits over the years. She refuses to wear it anymore due to the weight of the piece. The Baden Sunburst Tiara Made in the 19th century, the Baden Sunburst Tiara was seen on Princess Theodora of Greece at the 80th birthday celebrations of King Gustav V of Sweden in 1938. The Miller Fringe Tiara Intended for her daughter, Princess Maria Olympia, Crown Princess Marie Chantel's fringe tiara has been her main tiara for the past couple of years. Eventually, it will be worn by Princess Maria Olympia when we can expect to see the Crown Princess in more of the family pieces. Princess Servath of Jordan's Diamond Tiara for many years, Princess Servath's husband, Prince Hussein, was the Crown Prince of Jordan. Thus, the couple have close relations to most European royal families and are their regular representatives at glittering events abroad. This diamond tiara, worn at Crown Princess Victoria's 2010 wedding, was also worn by her daughter, Princess Badia, for her 2005 wedding. And which is your favourite? Please let me know in the comments below. And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.